So hello everyone. How are you? Good, good. good. And then, uh, as last week uh, we explained that uh, we uh, practice already two koans, two koans, and we I will show you the remaining the three koans today and practice practice it. And then uh, the pa for the person who forgot the two koans, I will explain again. Okay. Uh, last week. We learned, we have learned uh, the basic idea to cure illness or remove negative thoughts. But as a result, we can overcome anything like uh, cancer, the very difficult illness, even the leukemia that has been cured. So, then, go on one. This is uh, uh, the, uh, we learned last week. Believe that your mind has the power to create new things. That means we can create anything. So, Masa Okawa told us that everything you are seeing now, you are looking at now, is a cre 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 creation. Of your mind, deflection of what you have been thinking. That's why you need to control your mind. That means you need to have only positive thinking. That's what Master recommend, the suggested us. So then, Koan two. Contemplate on the faith being loved by God and the power of your Dharma friends' prayers, which are conditions for illness to be cured on its own. That is the second condition. That means you will be required to have faith. Last week we learned the two conditions. One is positive thinking, another is faith. But please be careful. Sometimes people might think that faith means uh, believing the strange thing or astonishing thing. But that doesn't mean faith. Faith means just accept the fact the fact that God, Buddha, Allah, whatever you call, the fundamental one, we call it El Cantare, always loves you. Just one sentence, what Masa Okawa want to tell us. So, he came here to tell us that, the fundamental one, called El Cantare, always loves you regardless of your gender, nation, even the religious identity. But only humankind sometimes try to avoid it, to accept his love, because of sometimes guilty. That's why if you have the guilty in your mind, Sometimes you will get illness. The sometimes serious illness. So we need accept his love without condition. That is a second point. So we already learned the two points. One is positive thinking, and second one is faith. The are meaning of faith. If you have that you can be cured. Then, today, we will start from here. The third one, third koan, that is also a very important one. And we already done uh, two conditions, then from three to five. So, how to use it? How to use your conditions? Number three. According to Buddhism, 
Materialism is an example of wrong views. Explain why this statement is true. I will show you, um, I will tell you the conclusion of this score first. <laughs> because maybe some of you might think this is very difficult to explain that. If I can explain well, I can persuade the people who believe in the materialism. So that's true. Then, the, what is the difference? What is the difference between the materialist and the religious people who believe in the God or invisible world? What is the difference? Master already taught us that. The difference between materialist and the who believe in the invisible thing, who have faith to the Lord, to God, Buddha, like that. Yes. Most important point is materialist believes that materialist believes that the humankind is machine which just have reacted have just reacted to to what? Reacted to the sense of body senses sense of body like if you feel uncomfortable which means unhappy if you feel comfortable which means happy based on bodily senses but if you are the religious person who believe in the invisible thing invisible world God, Buddha or Allah whatever you may feel you may think you may believe everything comes from what I have been thinking and everything has been given by God as homework to be solved that is the difference between the materialist and the person who believes in the religion or invisible thing. Yes, the materialist just think we are just a robot or the machines. If you got an illness, that means you need to repair or fix it. <laughs> That's why the materialists think that the only way to cure illness is just only two ways. One is give the medicines, medicines to him or her. Or remove it, depress it. That's it. But we, there is a people, believe that since everything comes from our mind if we idealize that that I need to change my, own, my way of thinking and can correct it also my body sense will be cured That is a big difference because if you believe in that uh, the, like a materialistic way, that means you are just an animal to react something, okay, the outside. But we religious people looking for something inside. Materialists looking for something outside. That is a, a typical uh, difference. So I will uh, tell you. Then, um, before showing the uh, some slide, I will show you one of Master's lecture here. In this book, I use a simile of a river in my teaching. I said, the physical body is just like a flowing river 
just as a river overflows in places where there are breaks in its banks. Illnesses appear in places where the body is weak. Thus, a certain illness will appear, but it does so because that part of the body is weak. Even if you suppress it, another illness will appear elsewhere as long as there is disharmony in the mind. Generally speaking, illness means developing an impairment somewhere in the internal organs. It means causing damage somewhere in your internal organs, your brains or your vascular system. You cause this kind of damage somewhere, but your organs don't stay exactly the same all year round. All the cells replace themselves within a year. The same goes for bones. You don't have the same bones for a year. Even the skull, this skull replaces itself. Blood vessels replace themselves. Of course, your blood replaces itself too. There is nothing in the body that is the same as last year. It simply looks very much the same, but the entire body has replaced itself. Let's take, for example, the stomach. To create stomach cancer, say you have to keep on creating a malignant focus here in the stomach area. Stomach cancer is an ongoing state of continual destruction. If this continues, a particular illness takes solid shape. Since you can create malignant things in the cells like this, you can also do the reverse. If you want to change them into good things, you can do so. Thank you very much. As Master said, the human kind created everything then, not only the something, the materialist thing. So he said, like, stomach cells regenerated every six days, uh, every five days, and then liver cells and uh, muscle cells, you know, uh, so replaced the, in the 60 days. The bone cells are replaced in, within the 90 days. So why we can keep that the illness? Because of thought, because of what you have been thinking. That's why. Religion is very important because religion can show you that how can control your emotion, how can control your mind. If you are governed by emotion or you, what you have been thinking, you will uh, lose your own, your real self. So your real self is soul. They are going to asleep sometimes. But you need to make your real self awaken so that you can control your mind, your emotion. So like this, if you can clean up your mind, you can clean up uh, everything. But if you have a wrong mind, you can create illness also. That means matter and mind are one. Uh, what I want to tell you is what you have been thinking will influence to your body senses. Then you need to clean up your mind. Reflect on it. So everybody has an astral body like this. First, what you have been thinking will influence your astral body like this. Then that will manifest as illness. So, astral body is that uh, the, the kind of the uh, external, external part of your soul. 
So the mind, what you have been thinking, will affect the astral body first. Then, will manifest to your body senses. So, then, we definitely can declare that thought cure illness also. That is a typical way of thinking every religion can tell you. Christianity, Muslim, Buddhist can say that. Of course, happy science can show you the way. Detailing. Then, now, please contemplate on the Koan 3. Okay, so, what does it mean? The number 3, in the number 3, we land. Um, if you have the materialistic idea, like, um, so, bodily sense is myself. The, your happiness depends on how comfortable I am, like that. Yeah, maybe that kind of idea to sneak in to you, right? Mm. If I am very comfortable, I am happy. And if I am not comfortable, uncomfortable, I am unhappy person, like that. But it's a materialistic idea. React to your bodily senses. Yes, I admit, if you are uncomfortable, uh, you are not so happy. But the difference between the saints or giants and the average person is here. Like, if you have the something uh, kind of idea, and so oh, the attitude, attitude, attitude toward toward the I incident you encountered that is the difference what is the difference because the saint giant thinks that everything has been given by God then be rational and think of what kind of wisdom I can get from this incident. But the average person just react very emotional. That is the difference. Okay? So, please think that if you want to say, I am a very religious person, like, I will get something from this incident. That's why Helen Keller said, even she got three sufferings like cannot see, cannot hear, cannot speak. She said, I am the happiest person in the world. Because she got many wisdom from your situation. Did she realize that she has been loved by God? So, then Koan 4. Mentally shocking incidents and the self-punishing thoughts are two basic roots of illness. And then, for think of that, for thinking of that, I will show you one of the example. The, uh, that is uh, experience one of members encountered. Testimony, kind of. Mrs. Kikue Matsumoto lives in Osaka, Japan. While running a hair salon, she had been a leader of missionary work at her local branch. One day in April 2009, 
She felt ill and decided to visit the hospital. The doctor declared her with cancer. I was told that the cancer was terminal, seven centimeters big, and that I had only three months to live. I couldn't go through surgery, and my children asked me, Mom, are you going to die? Three months left to live. She has studied the teachings of happy science, and she was convinced about the other world. And so she talked with her doctor and decided that she would not receive life-prolonging therapy. However, with a strong plea from her family, she reluctantly decided to go with chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is so terrible. It's hard to explain the excruciating pain my body goes through, and there are many side effects too. I lost all my hair within just three days. When she was taking chemotherapy, Kikua read Master Ruho Oka's books over and over again and cheered herself up. Master said the following in his books. While reading Master's book and watching the video, I was taking Master's words deep into my heart and said to myself, I'm going to overcome my cancer. Kikui decided that she would stop chemotherapy and that she would cure the cancer with the power of faith. She visited her local shoja, Osaka Shoshinkan, again and again to pray to the Lord by taking various ritual prayers. The overwhelming light engulfed me. This is really amazing, isn't it? I was filled with so much light and I felt a sense of relief that I would be okay because I'm entrusting the Lord. During the ritual prayer, Kikue was embraced by the Lord's light of compassion and received the courage to fight against this cancer. Moreover, she wanted to look deeply into her mind and find what has caused her cancer so she decided to take this seminar, How to Overcome a Sense of Inferiority at Chugoku Shoshinkan. I really felt that I, myself, has created the cancer. I had greed. I run a hair salon, so you see, and I had anger. And also foolishness. I got cancer because I had foolishness. If I had, you know, been able to live truly in the right way with the standards of the truth, I wouldn't have become so ill. During the seminar, she thought back one by one how she had lived through her life. Various sorts of regret came into mind. Deepening her self-reflection, she finally discovered an unexpected struggle in her mind. My father had been bedridden, and when I was little, around three years old, he always threw a stick at me whenever I came close to him. I was small, so I was scared. So I thought to myself, he hates me, he hates me. I wouldn't even try to think about my father. My father was in bed because of tuberculosis, but I was too small to understand that. You know, tuberculosis is infectious, so he threw this stick at me saying, It's infectious, so you can't come close to me. I would never forget that. During self-reflection, I recently came to understand this, so I cried a lot. My father really loved me, but I misunderstood that he threw sticks at me because he hated me. I misunderstood that I wasn't being loved by my father. I had an inferior complex about that. This seminar was great. This really helped me. Once I realized that my father loved me, I completely changed. It was as if the mind were washed away in the tears that were falling uncontrollably. And then, suddenly, her body started shivering widely. I was very, very surprised because it was my first experience. 
My body was shivering, and I thought evil spirits were going to leave me. My mind spaced out. I had a slight chill, and I thought that the evil spirits would leave me. My Dharma friend also said, it's going to come out. And she said, I'm going to do El Kantari fight, so be sure to prepare. I said, okay, and open the shoja door so that the evil spirits could go out. They're going away. At the very moment she said that, a huge black shadow flew out. Suddenly, my body became incredibly light, and I danced around with joy. I really danced, whirling around saying, how light I am, and I thanked her very much. The first mystical experience. This experience of getting rid of evil spirits was made by self-reflection and gratitude. And after a couple of days, a miracle happened. When she went to the hospital to get tested, the cancer had disappeared. The doctor looked at the x-ray twice, but the cancer in this part had disappeared. The best and the only way to cure cancer in ourselves is through self-reflection. If you practice self-reflection, not only cancer, but also other illnesses will disappear. I can say this with confidence. After that, because of the influence in chemotherapy, they found the cancer has spread to the brain, but because she had already experienced the miracle of faith, she did not get upset. Rather, she encouraged other patients who were in the same hospital suffering from terminal cancer. When I think about how to live for the rest of my life, to serve Lord El Kantari, I believe that all I could do is to convey the truth. I have to work hard with missionary work. When I went to the hospital with the other friends, Kikue said cheerfully, I will be sure to recover and become healthy again. It was very impressive. She said sincerely that, I am going to tell the truth to the patients in the hospital who are suffering more than me. When I heard that, I thought she has a very strong mind. She told me, I'm not scared anymore. And she continued, now that I have become a spirit, I will walk around the hospital conveying the truth every day, encouraging and helping those who are suffering more than me. So I'm getting better and better. Kikue's Second Miracle The three centimeter big cancer in the brain disappeared again within half a year. Lord El Kantare gives me miracles every day. I have confidence. Absolutely. Yes, it is so great. So I think we, Happy Science members, are sure to be protected. We are protected by the Lord. This is how important faith is. We're all spiritual beings. There is a power that we cannot see. If everyone realizes the truth, imagine how helpful it would be and how easy it would be for them to keep peace of mind. So, our mission is to tell as many people as possible about the spiritual beings, happy science, and the descents of the Lord. That's our mission. I believe so. The practice of self-reflection and giving love helped Kikue overcome her cancer twice. Through this experience, Kikue attained unshakable faith. Thank you very much. It was a miracle, wasn't it? Yeah, so the important things uh, we can learn from her experiences here.
first faith. She accepted what Massa said everything. That means she accepted God, Buddha, Allah, El Cantare has been loving you every day. So that is a very important thing. God expects you to develop. That's why we came here. Very simple. But uh, for the people that is invisible, that's why it's very difficult. But you need to think of that. Believe that. That is the first thing. Then second, self-reflection and the gratitude. Because Master told us the one short notice about that. That is, he said in his book, like, um, in your mind, in your mind, there is, there are parts of you cannot see. If it is the cause of your illness, the invisible part, what you cannot see. Once you become aware of it by learning the truth, the ill thought will begin to disappear and the illness cures. That's what he said. Yes, sometimes we don't want to see our mind because sometimes it's ugly. But you need to see it like good doctor. Don't be, like, don't be emotional. Just see it. Very rational attitude, with rational attitude. So, you can find it, like in this temple, very calm circumstances. So your guardian spirits will help you to see it. Then you can realize what is the real cause. He said two points. You remember that? Koan, as Koan 4. One is mentally shocking incidents. Or, and self-punishing thoughts. Maybe you already forgot that, but as she said, she realized that the one day when she was very kid, very small, her father tried to take distance from her because he loves her. But at that time she didn't realize that and got shocked, shocking, shocked by that. Then she had guilty. Oh, my father didn't, uh, doesn't love me very much. That is a misunderstood, misunderstanding. But she engraves that kind of uh, sense into her mind. That is the cause of illness. She realized that. Then gradually, gradually, the situation has been changed. Like, so, then, another point is then she started, she had started to give love to others instead of thinking of myself. Because thinking of myself too much will become a cause of illness. Instead of that, she started, she has just started give love to others. Think of others. As I told you ne last week, the uh, so Florence Nightingale has got the sick when she was 30. Since then, she had been in the bed and give advices to many, many people as many as she can in the bed with sick. She said sometimes sometimes she thought of herself but she has changed her mind from thinking of myself to thinking of others. Then she didn't take care of her illness at all and then just give love every day even in the bed she can do it she could do it 
the Florence Nightingale. So we can do it. If you can do it, so situation has been changed, has, will be changed. Then again, please think of this one. Deferring with deferring the Mr. Miss Miss Kikue Matsumoto's case. Mentally shocking incidents and self-punishing thoughts are two basic roots of illness. Uh, I will give you uh, five oh, minutes yeah. again. To, uh, I don't think it's enough time to contemplate on it. But if you join the one of our seminar, like uh, eight for the past seminar, you can reflect on the whole life and you realize what is the cause of your trouble or what is the cause of your illness or something like that so I suggest you to join that uh, we will have the, uh, the this month and then so you can find the something precious through the self-reflection the hidden part of your mind you don't want to see then if you realize that you can start, refresh yourself, and define your mind. So now I will show you number five. Maybe almost all of you want to say, I don't have this kind of idea. But, as Masa said, you have a hidden part of your mind you cannot see easily that's why you need to check it whether you have or not sometimes it will uh, manifest as cancer but not only that destroy your relationship or got a bankrupt or financial, financial crisis like that so, uh, be careful, not only cancer, the bad relationship or uh, financial crisis, something like that, very uncomfortable situation. So, I will show you uh, one of the masters of the Q&A sessions, which had in Japan which was held in Japan. So, please listen to it. So, we must see why you have a cancer. Yes. Can you speak? Okay, thank you. Let me have a minute. Why does this person have a habit of contracting cancer? I think the cause is you. It's you. You're the cause. There are two. Two reasons. One is a discord. You had some struggles in the past with your father. What is the discord about? What seems to be the cause? Well, you, you two must be smart. So both of you are arguing who is cleverer. So there is this discord with your father. 
Fill your heart. I can hear. Shut up, big buddy. I hear it. I can hear you say, shut up, I'm cleverer than you, so just shut up. I can see that this is a cause of your father's cancer in the ear. So, this is a problem between a parent and a child. You are trying to cure him, but you are having a problem with your parent. This is one of the causes. I can say this. Therefore, you shouldn't have a quarrel with your father. You must turn your attention to saving other people in the world. You can thank your father, but he is not the person to compete with. That's one of the reasons. There is one more. The other reason is... It seems that there was a problem in your childhood. There was something in your childhood. And it may be related to your struggle. Well, you had something that you wanted to do when you were a child, but your father didn't let you. I think you were told, no, you can't do the things that you wanted to do. Do you remember something? No? Well, I think it's in the younger age. That you began to understand things. In those ages, maybe a little bit younger though, or you might have forgotten, but if you look at the past in terms of each ages, from your birth to the present, the memory will be sure to rise up. Being refused to the thing you wanted to do by your parents, you felt very frustrated. I think you had a lot of frustration against your parents at that time. You might have forgotten. So, the cause of making your father suffer from cancer is you. The reason is you, so... You should not try to be on top of your parents. If you do that, illness increases. Your father is fighting back against you by creating an illness. Uh, I myself caused a brain infarction this May. I see, I see. I can say that people who have a characteristic of being hysterical can cause a brain infraction. Therefore, you easily get upset. So, it is good to have a calm mind in order not to cause brain infarction. You should not send your blood to your head. So you must make effort to send your blood to your chakra. If you are prepared for the worst, you will have a sense of stability. You will not get upset easily with things that much. Well, I think your father should be free. I think he can be free. And you have a lot of people to save. It is enough for your father to live up until 82. From that point on, I think he can live freely. So, you do not need to control him. There are many other people who need your help. 
So, help those who are in need. So, there is a struggle over family problems in the background. If there were no audiences, I can make it more personal, but this will be recorded, so I will stop it here. Spiritual power is very scary. You can know very delicate things, but there are things that I cannot say, so I will say it in abstract terms. If you do self-reflection, there will be many things coming up. So, thank you very much. Um, after this session, Q&A session, he actually went to the shoja to reflect on himself. And he realized that he forgotten. He said he forgotten, but he had the elder brother who dead uh, when the, uh, he was two or three. Then, since then, uh, his parents talked about the, his uh, elder brother uh, who was dead uh, two or three. Then they loved so much. So, since then, he realized that he has fear. If parents, especially father, loves him more than the person, so he want to confirm his father's love. He whether he loves me more than elder brother, even who was dead already. That is a true story. Then he admit that he always passed away and I have to have a responsibility. So his trouble, his illness cured. And his father's the illness also the, uh, better and better, become better and better. That is a true story. So, to do so, you need to check your mind the same as him. Maybe you already forgotten that or hidden part. You don't want to see. Then you can rebuild your life. That is a very important point. So, uh, before I contemplate on it, we will practice, uh, we will Thank practice you very the much. meditation. The reason why Master said that uh, uh, this kind of meditation, the same as self-reflection, is because the purpose of self-reflection is you need to, to be realized that you have been loved by God and you have been given everything you need and you are very happy. And that's why the, that this kind of uh, meditation is the same as self-reflection. So if you think that if you uh, if you think that it's hard to find a hidden part of your mind and self-reflection, you need uh, try just this one. So uh, this concludes this session, and then the quick review the, of this session. Like you are required to be cured of illness. You are required two conditions. One is the positive thinking. Another is faith. That is the first one and the second one. And uh, you need to admit everything comes from your mind. But sometimes it's hard. You need to realize that uh, the basic cause of illness is the mentally shocking incidents and the self-punishing thoughts. But to find that, you need a self-reflection. Then, try to punish, try, not try to punish you, instead of that, instead of that, try to give love to others. Think of that others. That is a very important point. You need to realize you already have been given everything. So, this is a conclusion of this seminar. Thank you very much.